Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. We're growing fast, we're gaining followers. I mean, subscribers, what is this, Instagram or YouTube? I don't know anymore. Thank you so much for subscribing. Today we are making a shift knob. So this is one that I purchased from Still Hood. It's a Still Hood shift knob, you can see it there. Um, I, obviously, I work in a machine shop, so this is a piece that uh, we just use to cut and do keyways on. But what I wanted to do, it's such an intricate piece, I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to add some grooves, clean up the, the top and the bottom. And I actually just had a wild hair to make a shift knob and thought it would be neat to show you all how to do that too. Um, so step one is find a random piece. This is one that we've made previously, as you can see here. So the threads are in the bottom. And this is actually for electrical content. I didn't actually make this one. I modified it to fit my car. But uh, Matt, huge shout out to Matt. He made this for me. Um, and then, let's see. So basically what we're going to do is we essentially, to make this a shift knob, you want to know the threads of your vehicle, which this is a 10 millimeter by 1.5 and we're gonna drill it out and thread it to accept uh, to accept the threads and then we are gonna clean this up make it the way you want you can use any piece of material shape size whatever um, and we're gonna be able to thread it on so let's head over to the lathe and we'll start machining on this if you're doing it at, at home you can just uh, drill it by hand and tap it as straight as possible we have access to lathes and mills here so we're gonna do it the a little more uh, precision but you can definitely do it by hand so let's head on over there we are out of the hot car and back at the lathe I went ahead and made some measurements here this is my poorly drawn uh, rendering of what the shifter looks like so here's the shaft coming up from the floor and the threads here so basically if you are going to just be putting a hole in something and threading it you need to look up what thread you have which for me it's M10 by 1.25 and there's going to be a drill size specific to tap to which in our case is an 11 32nd drill so if you have a 240SX uh, obviously with the manual transmission it's going to be this exact thing you can follow this along so M10 1.25 11 32nd drill and then that's for this section I've decided to put the threads not at the right at the face you'll see when I start doing it but deeper inside so it slides over this um, the shaft of the shifter all the way down to the counterweight so if you're just trying to put some threads in it you can do it right at the face I'm going to sink mine in and it'd be recessed so for this size over the over the shank it's going to be a 14 millimeter or 9 16 which I already have found both of these drills and the tap so we're going to head on over the lathe, start dressing up the piece that I want, and then drill and tap our hole. That was a lot of talking, a lot of information. Let's just do a quick summary before we get into it. Here is the bottom of the shifter. You're going to want to create a hole to tap. So to do that, you're going to need to pre-drill it with the drill that is called for the tap. So in our case, 11 30 seconds. So we're going to drill that hole. And then we are going to take our tap and we're going to tap it. If you use the wrong side, if you use too small of a drill, tap will break. If you use too big of a drill, the, there will not be enough thread engagement for it to be able to tighten down. So this is a surface. In your case, if you just do it right on the surface, drill, tap, you'll be done. We're going to recess it in the part about this far in. So you'll see that it's not going to be on the surface. That's why I'm explaining it to you this way in case you get confused. So ours is going to slide over that shaft and then thread in up here. But it will all be internal. We'll show you how to do it.
So I'm just doing it by eye and feel. This one is 67 thousandths. This one is 66 thousandths. Eyechrometers are still, uh, you know, working out. The shift knob is not looking too bad. We went ahead and sanded the outside. I was going to turn it, but I decided to sand it. Still have some blemishes, but it's looking good. So everything we've done up to this point, as you just saw in the B-roll, is all cosmetic. It's just stuff that I wanted to do to enhance this piece of material. So this is now going to be the starting process of drilling the hole on the other end, or on the bottom, drilling the hole and threading it for the shift knob. So here we go. just drilled the hole for the recess on the shifter so now it'll be sliding all the way down to the counterweight what I have not done which I'm about to do is drill for the tap so this is 11 32nd the uh, floor of this hole is where I'm going to be starting drilling here it is about uh, 1.9 or so in so we're going to start we're going to go about three quarters of an inch drill it tap it should go straight on the car helpful tips for tapping. You want to make sure you're using tapping fluid. If you don't have access to, to tapping fluid then WD-40, any type of lubricant will work. And when tapping, always start it by hand if, after you know you get your first couple of threads done. And what I like to do pretty much in any material unless it's super hard is to run it in by hand obviously but when it bottoms out like when you're tapping you can go one half turn or one full turn depending on the material and then back up a quarter turn and it'll break that chip if you don't do that and you just do it all at once the chips will load up the teeth will break so uh, half a turn quarter turn back and then I always do probably maybe three or four turns especially in softer material, when the chips build up on the tap, it could mess up the threads as you're tapping. So I do about three or four turns, bring it out, blow it out, put some more tapping fluid on it, and then repeat the process until it bottoms out. If something happens to where it is completely hard to turn, it's not budging, if you keep forcing it, this does look like a lot of material on the tap, but the tap will break. And obviously you don't want that because then you're going to have to be spending the time to get it out. But just a half turn, quarter turn back. And you can hear it breaking that chip in there.
Now that we have the hole drilled, the larger hole to fit over the shaft, the smaller hole in here drilled and tapped. If you don't have a shaft like this or trying to fit it over, then you can just do it straight to the face, drill and tap it. Here's the finished product. We are going to put it on, see if it fits. Okay, okay. Woohoo! It fits. This is uh, the finished product. So if you have something that you have laying around, a piece of material, whether it be aluminum, steel, brass, copper, whatever you want, this is how to drill a hole in it, thread it, and make it a shift knob for your vehicle. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up if it helped you. Be able to share it um, too, that would help us tremendously. So you and your friends can be all driving around with crazy shift knobs hanging up in the air and everything. Thank you so much. Check out these videos, subscribe, and we appreciate you watching.